The majority of self-improvement techniques can be summarized into a single sentence. Choose long-term over short-term. Now, obviously this is easier said than done, but in this video, I want to explore this a little bit deeper and give you an insight as to how this has completely changed my life, especially over the past month, and hopefully give you a reason to do the same. Hello, my people, I hope you have been well. If you are new here, my name is Himmel. And on this channel, we explore ideas and strategies that can help us live happier and more meaningful lives. So if any of that interests you, make sure you click subscribe. I have honestly been the most productive that I have been over the past month and I think a very, very long time. I think like many, I chose to write off a bit of last year given everything that happened. But now I feel like my batteries are completely recharged and I'm ready to go back to living a life in a more civil manner. In all honesty though, this change was pretty tough. Going from basically what I would consider like a waste man to all of a sudden becoming like somewhat a decent civilian that kind of gap was it was hard to kind of bridge i'd be great for a few days i'd be on top of everything but then all of a sudden i'd go back into like a lazy slump but one thing that has made a huge difference for me is keeping this one thought at the back of my mind choose long term over short term and for the most part i've been doing exactly that i initially came across this when i was listening to a podcast that pointed out a tweet by naval all self-help boils down to choose long-term over short-term. I've consumed a lot of self-help content around many fields. And when I came across this, I was like, nah, not really. It can't really just be that, can it? But then I reflected. Then I really thought about all the self-help that I've been told, about things that I've been told that have been good for me. And I really thought about it and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is probably the easiest way to summarize everything. I mean, think about it. Reflect on everything that you have been told to be good for you. And the majority of it, it's not something that is going to give you an immediate benefit right now, but it's more so something that's gonna give you a benefit in the future. Like eat healthy food now so that you have less health problems in the future. Get into the habit of meditating today so that in the future, you have a mind that is calm and ready to face the challenges of life. Invest in stocks now so that in five, 10 years time, you have a decent portfolio. I feel like if we just take this one thought, and let it be almost our guiding light for our decisions, self-help or otherwise, then we can almost assume with utmost certainty that we will be creating a future for ourselves that is extremely bright. And look, I know it's hard to make these decisions because as humans, we have almost this innate tendency to seek and search for immediate gratification rather than long-term ones. For example, it's much easier to binge watch a TV show than it is to study or get some work done. But for me personally, what has made this a really really extremely easier decision for me is by just repeating this to myself and keeping this sort of the back of my mind. Choose long term over short term. After that, I don't even allow my mind to kind of rebut that argument because if it did, then I'll most likely convince myself otherwise. But I don't even give it the chance to. I kind of just let my mind just shut up and get to whatever it is that I should be doing. But in the many chances where I feel like I am about to make the wrong decision, the decision that's going to give me a lot of short-term happiness, but not long-term happiness, I remind myself of the guilt of how if I spent my life like this, is it going to really bring me much benefit at all? And after doing that, I kind of force myself to make the right decision. Like you kind of just have to be strict with yourself. Like anything, I feel like we can make this a habit and I feel like it's a really good habit to have. But the question is, and the question I've got from a lot of people is, then when do you enjoy life? I challenge you just to do this for a month and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Like it is actually so good. I'm going to be very honest with you. I have been thoroughly enjoying life after doing this. I love being productive, getting things done and being disciplined. Don't get me wrong. Like I enjoy relaxing and all that. But now when I relax, it's like I've actually earned that relaxation time. So I'm not thinking about all the things that I should be doing because I've kind of already done it. By just keeping this thought at the back of my mind, I feel like I'm making a lot more meaningful decisions. It essentially makes me feel like I'm the one that's in control. It's like you're not allowing life to knock you around as much. It is, but it's like you're the one that's calling the shots. Well, my friends, I hope you found this video helpful. Please give us a like, chuck us a sub so we can grow this amazing community and have a look at this video right here that might interest you. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.